So, so basically, you're going to see that in the large scale manufacturing, there's heavy investment from the Chinese. Wow. So um, one thing we've also seen, particularly in um, East Africa, Kenya, for example, is that the textile industry, some of the contracts that um, some Chinese firms already own, they're having, um, you know, like second tier, third tier manufacturers produce these items on the continent. So that's an exciting thing, but it also has um, some challenges. Part of the challenges is how do you find those type of um, ready to go manufacturing sites? We have been working heavily and we have been partnering and we have been working. So there are some of them. If you if you need some information, definitely we'll be happy to work with you at Nazaru. But you want to look at the end product, the packaging, the branding, but you also want to make sure that the factory, they have the right training, they have the right skill, they have the right people on the floor. And, and the other thing you also want to watch out for are the standards, right? Are they following the standards? Okay. <laughs> you could hear me. Okay. Thank you, Jaga. That was really, uh, thank you for letting me know. I usually prefer the mics to be in that way the, the sound is always clearer so great thank you so much for that confirmation awesome so again if you have questions let me know i i've seen from last week that more people actually watch <laughs> after the show i know the time is quite early on a saturday um but we'll see give me feedback i i do need feedback on that um fantastic so one thing to also watch out for is when you're looking at the manufacturing sector what what products right what items are being produced would also determine what standards you should be looking for for example if you're in the food space and you're trying to um you know buy or manufacture in africa the standards right that you have to look out for fda certification all of those things you really you know, there's no forgiving. You can you have zero you have zero room for error in that space. So you really have to work with um, factories and sites that already have those certifications. You really want to visit. You really want to um, look at their practices in that space, right? Um, so, so from a food standpoint, I know that south the southern part of Africa, South Africa in particular, they are they are probably the most advanced that I have seen. Um, that's not to say other parts are not um, advancing as well, but South Africa with their fruits, um, with their fruit juices, with their wine, um, they really have sophisticated um, manufacturing in place um, in the southern plus parts of Africa. And I know um, even within the beauty, beauty industry, um, the southern part of Africa, one of the things they do is they actually source raw commodities from the neighboring um, countries like Botswana, they source a lot of the oils, um, the Marilla oils, and, and all, all, a lot of the ingredients that they use in the beauty industry in South Africa are sourced across the continent. And then the value addition, the final production happens in, in South Africa. So yeah, watch out, watch out for that. We're also playing in that space as well. So um, in, the, in the next you know, few months, hopefully we can, we can start sharing some of the things with you. So at this point, I'm going to talk about my giveaway. So for the giveaway, um, now and the replay, I want, so the name of our brand is omobabeauty.com. I, I, I typed it out here if you need to go visit. Actually, you would need to visit. So omoba, O-M-O-O-B-A, beauty.com is the brand, my brand. Um, I want to ask you a question. The question is, what is the meaning of omoba? <laughs> now, if you are a Nigerian, and you're watching this i'm going to give you another question you cannot you cannot answer that question because you you would already know what the answer is but so if you're in nigeria i'm going to this is the question you have to answer what does nazaru mean n-a-z-a-r-u int you have to google there's a i'm sure i've done a, an interview out there where i give the mini or maybe two interviews go find out what the meaning of nazaru is so again two questions one for non-Nigerians, which is what is the meaning of Omoba? O-M-O-O-B-A is actually pronounced Omoba. 
um and then for nigerians because that's a that's a cheat you you're going to cheat on that um what is the meaning of nazaru or or, or where did that come from n-a-z-a-r-u now the first person or maybe the first two people that um comment on the video with the right answer you'll be allowed to go to omovabeauty.com select one amazing gorgeous lipstick for yourself or the woman in your life and message that to me and we'll ship it out to you do that quickly okay and i see there's a question okay my indian clients are interested to explore joint venture manufacturing in africa that's jagat in partnership with african companies do share some ideas around that the first question is are you injecting capital so a lot of people say we want a partner the next question i have is what does that partnership entail what would you be bringing to the table so that that's if you want to type that response is be clear what you want you've talked about what you want you want partnership but there's another la layer you need to get deeper are you looking for an existing manufacturing facility to partner with in that case are you injecting capital or are you trying to buy into that business or there's another scenario you just want someone that is may not be in the industry already you want to partner and start something fresh with them those two scenarios require a different strategy so i'm curious which of the two are you talking about when you talk about partnership bring technology and part capital fantastic that 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 is awesome so what you then be looking for i would say you could then go with someone that already has a facility or someone else that um that may be so there's a lot of diaspora african diaspora returning to the continent they would be the people i want you to connect with because you want to be speaking at the you know equal same level of of global understanding of the implications of the partnership so that when they're signing a contract the person is not just going oh yeah 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 i sign i sign right the person understands the implication of the contract right so trust and then long term now something i would also say you should start exploring is what are you going to produce right so you want to bring technology you want to bring <laughs> yeah you want to be <laughs> I, I see someone laughing caroline i see you laughing that's good um so you want to bring technology you want to bring capital you're looking for a partner the next question is what strategy looking across the continent what sector are you going to be in you can look at the agro processing industry from there also narrow down to what mango juice pineapple juice orange juice right so you you want to start now unless of course you already know what industry so, so one of the things i do with our consulting and our coaching is we ask you a lot of questions because on the surface people say i want partnership which is very broad we try to narrow it down so that we can then define what the project is what the initiative is we can draw up a timeline and then we can get to work so yes so the next thing would be do you know what sector <laughs> what sector is it agro processing um do you want to manufacture home home appliance well that's pretty much advanced but it, it depends on how sophisticated you 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 want to go i hope that help uh helped jagat did that help you no, you said not fresh so you don't want to not food industry so maybe textile right consider the textile manufacturing um that would be a huge one and even beyond textile just look at apparel as a whole shoes the other thing is look at the standards right shoes um accessories that's that's a great place and and honestly it depends on your your the size of your budget the size of what it is you want to do as well so that's that's a great question i hope that helped a little bit but i want you to go for it it's, it's really a fantastic um opportunity that i'm seeing right now because whoever whoever gets in now 
you can better position yourself in the future. So let, let me give you, let me explain what I mean by whoever positions now. So one of my mentor um, is a lady out of v, um, Vietnam. Um, she's a, a very influential woman in Vietnam. She told me the story of Vietnam and said, Tony, <clears throat> everything you're telling me about Africa and Nigeria and West Africa and the things happening, this story sounds very familiar to me. I'm like, why? She said, well, 15 years ago, when I came back from U.S. and I moved back to Vietnam, what you're saying now about the continent is what we had in Vietnam. And I got involved. And there were so many people that I helped get involved into the manufacturing space. And today, she said, those people are doing so well because they now own the market. And it's now very difficult for a new player to go into the manufacturing industry. And she said, towing. Any opportunity you see in Africa, go and come back and tell me. <laughs> so, so every time I'm sharing this thing, there's a lot of content and information that we invest that I put out there, you know, and I really like this method as well because I can really talk to them. A lot of times we're typing, we're putting videos. It's based on real data, real information, a real pulse on what is happening on ground. And I'm going... Are people seeing what I'm seeing? Are people hearing what I'm hearing? Why are people not, you know, getting more involved? Well, but maybe it's the best kept secret anyway. It's this is the time to really get involved. Um, so I'm looking at time. We're going to be uh, we're six minutes out now. And um, let me see if there are more questions out there. Oh, Muba. Oh, Caroline. Okay, I usually spell it double O, but single O is fine because sometimes they spell it either way. But yes, you're rich. you can cheat. <laughs> you can actually cheat. You. If you have Nigerian friends, your bad Nigerian friends to be precise. They're the ones you want to call. They're going to give you the answer right like that. But remember, if you're in Nigeria, you cannot answer that question. The other question for you is, what is Nazar? What does it mean? N A Z A R U. Go and Google. There's there are articles out there. I've answered that question in several articles. Again, for people just joining us, we're doing a giveaway of my new beauty line lipsticks. Oh, okay. I'm thinking maybe I should show some. Uh, well, you have this beautiful color. Well, I'm not going to show. I'm not. This is this is. I'll let, I'll let you go to our website. Go to our website. Check it out. We have videos. We have unveiling. I'm using one of those. But if you're a guy, this would be a great opportunity to win it for <laughs> the special woman. Okay. Um, Caroline, you said, I want to go into agro-processing, packaging, and exporting. Fantastic place to be. One of the things I've seen on the continent is that many... Um, of the producers of items, they've not owned the, the value, the value chain. They produce, they supply, and then they produce, they supply, or they grow and they supply. But the opportunity, the real opportunity, and this is what the global market actually pays you for, is to not just grow something, but to actually add value, process, package, present it, brand, um, distribute. So part of the reason, like for us, the Omoba brand in itself is we're introducing that brand as an authentic African name brand with quality behind it is because we found one of the opportunities that Africa has been powering the rest of the world with its raw materials, raw commodities, items it's produced, but it hasn't honed most of the brand. And this is true for almost everything coming out of Africa, from the oil to the gold to the diamonds, you name it, <laughs> is that you, when you look at the trade data, which I do look at the trade data, raw commodities are coming out of the continent, finished products are not, and then finished products that uses that raw commodities comes back into the, raw commod in, into the continent. So Caroline, I want to encourage you in that space Agro-processing is huge. The other thing is you don't, may not even need to export it because consumption on the continent is continuing to grow. And with the Continental Free Trade Agreement, the AFCFTA, there's going to be more opportunity to actually produce on the continent and distribute it within the continent. So before you worry about export, 
get the product right, get it at a global standard, and you'll be amazed that your customers are already right there in Africa. Good question. Thank you so much. Jim, I see you. What African businesses should we be investing in or doing business with? I would say all. <laughs> Here's why. It's not just even products. You also need to start thinking services. So whatever expertise you have right now, technology, entrepreneurship, project management, um, legal expert, you know, the legal framework when it comes to global trade, whatever expertise you have right now, then that is definitely be going to be of value on the continent. Right. So I would say when you do your research, be, when you start your research, be as broad as possible. Don't go in with a narrow mind. Right. Be as broad as possible. Expand your research. Look at a lot of people have been in the oil and gas space. They've been in the commodity space. So we, we, we talk about non oil. Look at the non oil. Look at the service industry. Look at agro processing. Look at industry. Look, look at the arts, culture, tourism, um, even even the um, the the music space as well is blowing up right now. I was in um, Cairo and there were a lot of you know like the band, a lot a lot of the music musicians there because there's work also going on in that space to expand African music <laughs> beyond the shores. And that is huge. Um, so, so I would, Alan, I would say you're looking list of names. I'm not going to say list of names um, because one of the things I would probably encourage you to contact me, maybe personally, if you're looking for particular, you know, coaching or consulting opportunities, what I would say is look at the industry. Now, if you're telling me that you have um, investments, you, you have funds, and you want to come to us to help you invest that in a particular company, that's, that's, that's a unique conversation because we can then um, tap into our contacts and partners on ground, and then we can make some connections and deals for you. So because I'm Jim, I'm seeing your question lean more into that space. So that's a different conversation than... I, I want to explore. Excuse me. <clears throat> so that's a different question from, I want to explore the landscape, what opportunities exist in landscape. But if you're saying, I've got funds, toying, I'm ready to invest, let's do business. Oh my goodness, that's, that's something we want as well. Eat me up, in DM me, um, and we'll be happy to take that on, okay? Um, wow. I'm going to be wrapping up right now. Again, remember we have our giveaway. Go to Omoba, O-M-O-O-B-A, beauty.com. Um, that's the new brand we've launched. The, question, the questions are, number one, what is the meaning of Omoba? If you're a Nigerian, you're not allowed to answer that question. If you're a Nigerian, the question you are allowed to answer is, what does Nazaru mean? Okay, so two questions. And Jim, I see. Okay, thank you. Thank you for understanding. But but definitely, we would like to take up that conversation after after this um, this live um, show. Okay, so I'm wrapping up right now. I hope this um, this is helpful. Last week, when we laid the foundation, I basically said a lot of the viewers would be the ones giving me directionally what type of information you're, you're going to decide directionally where this goes because for me we're trying to make ourselves available we're trying to say okay what questions do people have out there what knowledge can we share that might help you because for us our goal is to increase trade with africa because we see the opportunities we know the opportunities we are also you know exploring not just within our our, our consulting or coaching space um, we also have an online um, community that we were building so if you want to join that online community because we see that a lot of people have questions they want to get involved but they don't know really where to go we're building that we're helping people that want to supply 
you know that they're probably on the continent and they want to export or you know be a supplier of products like shea butter and things like that that can go into industries we're supporting people that want to manufacture um, we're supporting people that want to be a distributor of products because the upper there's also opportunity for american businesses to export on the continent so in terms of getting a buyer on the continent to help distribute your product we're also helping in that space so this has been a real pleasure i know we're going to you know more people usually watch this content after the fact so we're going to leave it out there for a few more hours and i want to say thank you for those who joined us live a big thank you i know the weather is beautiful out there there's a lot you could be doing this time but i want to say a big thank you for joining me live and with that i would say bye um I'll still be watching the questions and responding, uh, responding, um, you know, through throughout. But um, this is me signing out and saying thank you so much for joining me, and hope to see you next week where we are going to bring you another amazing topic. Um, <laughs>